Maka's guides. <laughs> hey guys, Mac here, Sniper Elite 3, Mission 7, all collectibles. Click on screen for the Three Birds, One Stone Achievement Slash Trophy Guide video, which is in this mission. Also, before we get started, make sure you complete the first three main objectives and avoid all the collectibles. This will make your life the easiest because there are certain enemies who only spawn uh, after you do some of these objectives. So now that I have the take down all German vehicles objective, you'll, you'll have to be in this sniper spot. You'll notice a sniper in a Gili suit run up into the bottom middle sniper tower or sniper nest uh, with the searchlight. And uh, sorry for the slightly reduced quality of video. I had to take this off of my Xbox's DVR because my capture card broke. Um, but... After that objective comes up on your screen, you'll have like three or four German tanks rolling around. Uh, you're going to need to just either leave them or leave one of them and avoid them completely. But you're going to need to take down that sniper in the Gili suit. Again, he will only appear once you do the first three main objectives of the game. Um, so take him out from where you're going to be. That sniper's nest I was in before, I'm gonna go back to it and trigger it just to have everything in like a perfect order for you guys. Um, so I've taken out that sniper in this first sniper nest. I'm gonna go up to the top where I just killed him and I'm gonna obviously watch out for all the enemies, the thousands of enemies that just spawned. And on him, there will be your first weapon upgrade. Keep in mind, yours should say 12 out of 15 and not 13 out of 15. Next up, directly right next to him, you'll find a sniper nest. Again, you might have used this already if you uh, didn't avoid the collectibles on your way to completing the first three main objectives. Now, war diary number one. We're going to go back to the sniper spot we were in during the third main objective, which was to protect the LDRG uh, while they come in. Um, so... I'm going back to that location. This is where the map's actually going to want you to go for one of the main objectives. Hopefully this isn't too confusing. I really tried to take out as many factors as possible for you guys. Right there you will find a war diary. And right next to that war diary you'll find your second sniper nest, which is right there. And the counter should read whatever it says in the bottom right for you as it does for me. Again, this is the sniper location you'll need to come to for one of the main objectives, so you might have already triggered it. Uh, next up, we're going to go down this ridge, down this ridge again, down this ridge, and down again. And now we're going to follow this big rock on our right-hand side. Follow it around, and uh, you can sprint by here if you've taken out all the enemies like I have. And near this weapon cache, you can find collectible cards. Once you find those collectible cards, turn around and sprint towards the optional objective of destroying all three of the bunkers. As you'll see, two of them are on fire. Uh, you're going to want to double check my achievement guide, which I'll link in the description for you guys. Um, but anyways, in this middle tent, make sure you pick up the collectible cards across from the optional objective of destroying the three depots. Uh, you'll need to use like dynamite and flint and steel in order to do that. So make sure you cross-reference with that video just to get it done. Now I have moved a little bit north on the map and I, uh, I'm showing you this optional objective which is to kill the officer in the command tower. Uh, you're going to want to do that first of all because you're going to want to do all the optional objectives in order to get 100% completion. But also on that officer you will find your second weapon upgrade. Now I've already picked it up. So you won't see the number come up on the screen, but I can guarantee you this guy will have it. I like to just go up to him and do hand-to-hand, -hand, and he's going to do the chicken dance. Ooh, yeah. Um, but once he calms down a little bit, and you can actually pick it up, uh, just uh, loot his body and you'll find a weapon upgrade. Directly next to him, you can find a war diary. And that's going to be your second war diary, your eighth collectible. Now, moving down kind of to where we came from a little bit, this is the better, the best order to do it in, in my opinion, uh, for a variety of reasons. You don't want to get spotted while doing the long shot. Um, take out a guy if he gets in the way. I don't know where he came from because I cleared out the area. And if you make your way to that corner away from this command post where we just killed the officer, You'll find a few things up here. First of all, slightly to the right of the sniper's nest, you'll find a war diary sitting on the rock. Next up, you're going to want to get in the sniper's nest. And obviously, because this is the last sniper's nest and we don't have the long shot, 
we're gonna have to do the long shot this is from what I can tell the longest long shot in the game clocking at around 620 meters if you shuffle back a little bit you can get even further and uh, you can basically get like the world record for longest long shot in the game if you do it in this spot uh, line up that guy right there and uh, as you can see he's kind of at the very top of those sand hills across the map and once you line up the shot make sure you shoot him obviously make sure it's a, a deadly blow and not just like a hip shot that won't kill him and once you get the long shot confirmation on the right hand side you're good to go now I have moved to the west of the map or the left hand side um, just using the map because I don't need to show you guys the entire map but if you come to this little campfire site where I was you'll find collectible cards number three now if we back up the rest of the collectibles are all inside the two main buildings in the middle of the base or underground underneath them you probably would have been in these buildings while doing the first three objectives but I told you to avoid the collectibles to avoid confusion you should be picking them all up right now on that table in this first building not too bad now we're going to go out this entrance and go into the other building as I said there's two main hangers in this uh, map and once we're in the second hangar with the airplane in the middle if you circle back to the right you'll find this collectible now if you back up from this collectible and take these stairs down into the bunker system you would need to actually have done the access the bunker network um, objective in order to get here anyways so yeah um, but as soon as you come down the stairs to your left hand side you'll find that war diary on that and then next up we're gonna be working towards kind of the map area but once you come to this intersection you'll see that sign and it's a German sign for the depot uh, just run down the hall and then you're gonna take a right hand turn into the bunker uh, there's multiple places called the bunker so keep that in mind but if you take your right hand turn in here you'll find your war diary on the desk now we're gonna back up and we're gonna go to the room that had the the map that we needed in order to find uh, the rat factory so if you come to where these blue dots are on my map those are the informants they should be there even if you've completed the optional objective you should rescue them by the way um, once you come here this is the room that had the map so it might look familiar that's where the map would have been but instead we're not looking for that map because we've already done that hopefully uh, you're gonna come to this war diary and pick it up now the last collectible war diary number nine collectible 18 out of 18 follow along turn right into this bunker slash depot there's the two signs um, run down run down at the end of the hall take a left I don't even know if you can actually go anywhere else and you should find your collectible right there on the crate that's all 18 out of 18 make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content similar to this feel free to click on the screen or see the description below for mission 8 rat factory and feel free to use this screen. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I see you next time. Peace.